Now, let's move to the set of question words, who, whom, and whose. And we are combining them into a set because in Chi, we only have one word for them. And that word is Huang. 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 All right. So we use Huang for who, Huang for whom, and Huang for whose. All right. The same thing. Very simple, right? <laughs> so let's look at some examples. For the first one, we have Wodofo Ne Huang. Wodofo Ne Huang. Wodofo Ne Huang. Wodofo Ne Huang. So as you can see, we have the question word Huang at the end of the question. All right. So we can move this to the front and then we have Huang Ne Wodofo. Huine Wodofo. Huine Wodofo. For the second one, we have Wonoa Edianeno Ma Huine. Wonoa Edianeno Ma Huine. Wonoa Edianeno Ma Huine. Wonoa Edianeno Ma Huine. So again, we have the question word Huine. At the end of the question, and we can bring it to the front, and then we have why na wonua edianeno mano. 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 And for our final example, we have why ediane na udie. Why ediane na udie? Why ediane na udie? So here we have the question word at the front. Why ediane na udie? So we can move this to the end and then we have udi. Why ediane? Udi. Why ediane? Udi. Huang Ediane. So as you can see from the three examples, in the first one, Huang is who. In the second one, Huang is whom. And in the third one, Huang is whose. So we use Huang for all three. Okay? Huang.